screen here. Um, all right, Taylor, is your mic working now? Maybe Taylor, hang up and then come back in again. See if your mic starts working. Okay. Um, let's see, Taylor. Okay. See if Taylor comes back. All right. So let's take a look. Let's look at let's look at our, our assignment. Let's look at what I'm doing differently here. Okay. Look at the assignments. You do not do the um you do not do the self-practice. Okay. So here we go. Let's look at our weekly agenda. We're starting unit eight. Chapter eight. Okay, so if you look here, I'll wait till it clears up. We're doing 8.1 right triangle trigonometry. And the homework is now delta math. That's all you have to do today is delta math. Do not do the self practice. Do not do your check your understanding. I think I got rid of the check your understanding. Let's take a look at the. Um, so it's delta math. We are doing delta math. Let's take a look at the the modules, the canvas. So the self practice is still there. It's there because all the notes are on the self practice. Right here so go down to the unit 8 Okay, now eight point one. Like this is your. Actually, I should do. I should do the student view. Can I do the student view? Let me try this again. Sorry. See what you guys see. Student view. Okay, this is what you guys see. Okay. Go to 8.1. Okay. So, right triangle trigonometry. Here's all the notes, example videos, right triangle trigonometry. Now, remember, the only thing you have to do is the delta math. Self practice is here. You don't have to do it, but the self practice, I'm going to do the notes. It shows you how to do the problems, right? It gives you notes on how to do the problems. So, you don't have to do that, but what you can do is focus like here's a self practice you don't have to do the problems on the self practice but what you can do is like look at the notes like see it tells you what sine cosine tangent is right all that you can copy those notes it shows you how to like i like looking at the examples cosecant secant cotangent you have to know this cosecant is equal to 1 over sine anyway all these notes is what you need here like look this is use this for your notes to figure out how to do this. I'm going to show you how to do it. If you need if you need any reference, but you do not have to do the homework assignment. Don't do these exercises. You're not going to do that today. Instead, you're going to do is the delta math. So what I would like for all of you to do right now is go to deltamath.com. Go to deltamath.com, okay? And you're going to start an account going to start an account so go to deltamath.com i'll type it in the let me type it in the let me type it in here go to everyone go to get your assignments deltamath.com taylor did you make it back yeah all right your microphone's working right very good okay Okay, Delta. Go to deltamath.com, and then you have to type in my my code, and make sure you sign up that you're in period three, right? You have to make an account. Let me get you my code here. And this is how I'm going to base your home. If you complete this, you're going to get points for this. Okay, so I'm trying this. I don't know what you guys are going to think of it, but we're going to try this for the next couple of days. And maybe we'll talk on Friday and see what you guys think about this Delta Math thing. So start your count with Delta Math. 
There's my Delta Math code, 785445. Okay, and then sign up for my period three class. And you'll see our assignment is going to be 8.1 right triangle trigonometry. Okay. And that's what I have on the um, that's what I have on the um, on the weekly, you should say that on the weekly agenda. See, right triangle trigonometry, Helmore, Delta Math, right there, right? 8.1. You guys see that? That's that's how you're gonna quarter. I mean, maybe this you guys won't like this, how you have to like go to this and that, but um I don't know. This might be easier for you instead of like having to take pictures and stuff like that. You don't have to take a picture of your work. Although I might if I want to check your work, but just do the for now, just do the problem on the delta math. Do the homeworks on the delta math. Now, do all of your work on the in your composition book. Right? So what I want you to do is I want you guys to um when you're doing your work on the on the on the uh for the delta math you have to you have to write your work out right you got to problem solve you got to set equations up don't just do it in your head you have to do it on a piece of paper so make sure you do all your work that you're supposed to all your work that you're writing out on a piece of paper yeah there's 13 problems jose all the all this stuff that you're doing on a piece of paper do it in your composition book, right? That where you do like how you normally do your notes and all that stuff. Okay, just do it there. Um, I might I might have you take pictures of it sometime. I just need to see that you're doing work. And the Delta Math actually shows you how to do the stuff. It shows you the steps and stuff like that. So I'm. It was recommended, so I'm trying it. Okay. All right. Are there any questions? Has anyone not been able to get into the Delta math? You should all be in the Delta math by now. All right, well, let's try this. Um, Giovanna. Yeah. Did you get in the Delta math? Yeah, I got in. Did you sign up for period three? Yeah. All right, Gracie, how about you? Did you get in the Delta math? Yeah. All right. Okay. Joshua, how about you? Yeah. I'm... All right. Roberto, were you able to get in the Delta math? Yeah, I'm in. All right, cool. Okay. So let's get to work. Here we go. So presenting. Now remember, that's all you're doing for homework is the delta math, okay? So, I don't know. And I'm gonna record it that way. See what you guys think. Well, I'll ask you on Friday. Okay, so today we're doing 8.1 right triangle trigonometry. Okay, so go ahead and copy this down. You guys have seen right triangle trigonometry already. So I want you guys to draw a right triangle like this. Draw a right triangle. Make sure you put your right angle here. And let's focus on this. This we call theta. That's a Greek term. Instead of x, we use that greek term which we call theta okay now we have to understand our perspective this sometimes we use alpha but we're only going to alpha is another instead of x or y we use alpha for the unknown angle we don't know what this angle is so we're going to call it theta but anyway that doesn't matter this side is the opposite side of theta. Make sure you label that opposite. This side is next to theta. It's the adjacent side. 
Now this side is also next to, we don't call it the adjacent, we call this the hypotenuse because it's opposite of the 90 degree angle. You should be familiar with the hypotenuse. You should be familiar with all this. I'm assuming you did this in math two. Math two. Okay. Okay. Ishi. Yeah. Have you seen this before? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, now, there are three main trig functions that we use. Sine, cosine, and tangent. Before you write those out, I want you to write the term SOKATOA. I'm sure you've heard of this before. SOKATOA. The S, this helps us to figure out our trig ratios. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So I want you to write sine of theta is equal to opposite divided by or over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And then finally, tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. Tangent of theta is opposite divided by adjacent. And then those, you should be familiar with those. Those have been should have been shown to you in math too. Depending on the pandemic, maybe you guys were shown this after. Remember that we shut down in March. Again, we're shutting down again. We're going purple. But but uh maybe this was shown during after you guys went remember you didn't really there's a time in march where you didn't have to do the work and some of you didn't i know some students just decided not to do work or whatever okay now there's something new let's see matthew yeah am i going too fast no okay have you seen this before yes sir Am I going, do you call me sir? Thank you. Matthew, am I going too slow? No. Okay, good. Now this is new, make sure you write this down. Secant is exactly the same as one over cosine. What that means is instead of adjacent over hypotenuse, secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. You put that one over there, it flips it around. Cosecant is the same as one over sine. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite. And then finally, cotangent is one over tangent, which is adjacent over opposite. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Cotangent is adjacent over opposite. So secant, cosecant, cotangent. They're also written like this. Secant is written like this in short form. S-E-C. -C. Secant. Cosecant is C-S-C. -C. Cosecant. And cotangent is C-O-T. Those are the abbreviations. Because sine is really S-I-N-E, cosine is C-O-S-I-N-E, tangent is T-A-N-G-E-N-T. -E Those are the short, right? Sine, cosine, tangent. We just write sine, cos, tan. Secant is sec, cosecant is six, and cotangent is cot. Okay, that's the base, the backbone that we need in order to solve these problems. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this. Are there any questions? I'm going to get rid of this in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go over some examples from the self practice, right? And you can see here if you want to follow along the examples I'm going to go over. Or let's go over example one through four. And I'll do a couple on my own. Oh, one through five. 
Okay, so example number one. Okay, evaluate the six trigonomic functions given, given that triangle right there. So let's draw with the, they give us two parts of the triangle. And I'm drawing the triangle. This is example one. Now what they want us to do is to solve for the ratios of all the trig functions. Sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, and cotangent. Notice the theta is in the top left corner instead of the top right corner. Okay. So here we go. There's our, so we have to figure out sine, cosine, tangent, uh, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So we're given two angles, how to, or two sides. How do we find the third side? Anyone want to say before I call on someone, how do I find this third side here? Pythagorean uh, theorem. A squared plus B squared. Yes, both are right. Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So let's go here. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A squared is going to be what? What do I put for my A and what do I put for my B? I'm going to call on one of you. What do I put for my A? Look at it closely because I'm going to flip out of this. What do I put for my A? What do I put for my B? What do I put for my A? What do I put for my B? Okay, Morella, what do I put for my A? Five. Sure. Five squared. So what do I put for my B? Let's go with uh, Madison. 12. 12 squared. Now, could I have done 12 squared plus 5 squared? I could have. It doesn't matter. We could have switched those. As long as these are the legs, the hypotenuse always goes here. 5 squared is 25. 12 squared is 144 equals C squared. 25 plus 144 is 169 equals C squared. I take the square root and C equals 13. Okay, so now I've got to figure out my sine, cosine, and tangent. For that, I'm going to write SOHCAHTOA. SOHCAHTOA. So sine of theta. Cosine of theta, tan of theta. Okay, so you can figure that out. Okay, what's my sign? Ready? Here we go. Uh, let's go with um, Kayla. What's my sign? Kayla. Kayla, are you there? Yes. Were you sleeping? No. I've been calling on you. Did you hear me call you? Um, kind of, not really. You kind of like broke up. Oh, it hurts my heart. Okay, what's the sign of this? Of 13. Do you understand what I'm asking you? I don't think you do. No. Do you or no? No. Huh? No. What is sine? What is sine? What is sine? Sine is what over what? Sorry, I can't. I don't know what it. I wasn't paying attention. Was Zoom fatigue. Bad. Kayla, I'm going to get back to you. Pay attention. Giovanna, what's my sign? Is it 5 over 13? Yes, correct. No, actually, no. Oh. How did you get that, though? Because... The, I think I know the mistake that you made. How did you... Because I almost made that mistake. Oh, because the opposite is 5, and then the hypotenuse okay. is 13. But look, look what we're doing here. It's a trick question. See, it's theta. Where's theta? Theta's right here now. Oh. So what's my opposite? The 5 is now my adjacent. If my theta was here, 5 would be my opposite. Okay, so, so what would my opposite be? 12 over 13? Yeah, 12, because now the opposite is 12. Oh. you got to pay attention where the theta is. It's, a little, it's nice. I'm glad it is hard like that, so we figured it out. Kayla, what's my sign of theta? 
12. But it's on the the opposite side. Caleb. Yes. My sign is 12 over 13. Sign is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay. Did you learn this from last year? Yes, I did. Okay. I'm still sticking with you, Kayla. Not giving up on you. Okay, Jeshua. What's my cosine? Uh, 5 over 13. Great. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine. Kayla, you see cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Jeshua, you're right. 5 over 13. Kayla, what's my cosine of theta? 5 over 13. Great. Kayla, what's my tangent of theta? Uh, 5 over 12. Oh, cosine is opposite over adjacent. My opposite of theta is 12. My adjacent is 5. 12 over 5. Okay. Now, everyone look here because you've never seen this before. Sine is cosecant of theta. What's my cosecant of theta? What is my secant of theta? And what is my cotan? of theta you guys i'm assuming that you have never seen this before okay so you guys better pay attention okay so here we go remember cosecant secant is one over cosine or you flip it cosecant is one over sine or you flip it cotangent is one over tangent or you flip it so my cosecant of theta which is the one over sine is 13 over 12 or adjacent over opposite. Co uh, secant is 13 over five or hypotenuse over adjacent. This is hypotenuse over opposite. This one cotangent is what? Uh, let's go with Jacob. What do you think, Jacob? Cotangent. Would it be adjacent over opposite? Um, would it be 5 over 12? Very good. Remember, it's the it's tangent but flipped, right? Cosine okay. is secant but flipped, right? Sine, cosecant is sine but flipped, right? Yeah. Flippy, flippy, flippy. That's the relationship. It's just them flipped. Flip you. They'll flip you for real. So anyway, we're able to figure out all six. There's six of them. Okay, are there any questions before I move on? Okay. I got rid of it. If Let me know if you need me to go back. Okay, example two. Go back, please? You're good. Done? I can flip it? Yeah. Okay, I'm out. Okay. Um, in a right triangle, theta is an acute angle, and sine of theta is 4 over 7. Evaluate the five others. So we got four. sine of theta is 4 over 7. Okay, so we have here, new problem. We got to figure out the five other trig functions. They say sine of theta is four over seven we have to figure out all the rest of the other stuff now what makes this kind of hard is we're going to have a square root in here we have to figure out what to do with the square roots square root so i'm gonna draw my triangle you guys draw the triangle too remember you're not this is not godzilla time you guys are take you got to take your notes with me here you guys taking notes so let's put theta let's see where should i put theta it doesn't matter i could put theta here i could put theta here let's call it a b c I could put theta at a i could put it at c where should i put it uh let's see why's my thing spinning uh jay where should i put my theta wherever you want a or c oh 
Uh, a. Okay. J says stick it there. Boom. So sine is 4 over 7. Where does my 4 go? Where does my 4 go? Um, Carlos, where would my 4 go? If my theta is right here. Carlos, are you there? Yeah. Okay, um, where's my four? You can say A, B, you can see C, B, you can say C, A. Between which two letters is my four go? C, B. Correct, it's the opposite. Carlos, where's my seven go? B, A. Sign is what over what? Opposite over hypotenuse. Which is B A oh, the hypotenuse? C A, sorry. <laughs> What's that? C A. There you go. Okay, seven. So now we got to figure out this side here, right? So let's go four squared plus B squared equals seven squared. Solve it. 16 plus b squared equals 49. Subtract 16. b squared equals 33. Take the square root. b equals square root of 33. So this here is the square root of 33. Okay, now we got to figure out all our trig functions. Okay, so here we go. Sine of theta. We got that. Cosine of theta. We got that. No, we don't have that. Uh, tan of theta. And then we go, uh, we'll go to sine. Cosecant of theta. Cosine. Secant of theta. And then tangent. Cotan of theta. Okay, write all six. Fill them in. I'm going to call on you guys. Go. I'm calling on you. Go. Figure out all six. We already have sine. Sine is 4 over 7. You guys got the other 5, I should say. 4 over 7. What's cosine? What's tangent? What's cosecant? What's secant? And what's cotangent? Now, as you guys are doing this, you cannot, uh, I mean, Keep the denominator with the square with the radical with the square root, but we cannot have a square root in the denominator. Just remember that. But for now, I'll accept that as an answer. But I'm going to show you how to. You got to get rid of. If you can get rid of that square root, awesome. You can't have a square root in the denominator. But for now, if you have no idea, put the square root in the denominator. The square root 33. That is okay. Cosine, th tangent, cosecant, secant, cotangent. Who needs more time? May. Anyone else? All right. All right. Uh, let's go with Alex Garcia. What's my cosine? I don't know. <laughs> I thought you said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex, good. What's cosine of theta? Is it 4 over square root of 33? What's cosine, homie? Do you have your Sokotoa written down? Alex? I'm here. I asked you a question. What happened? You're, you're cutting off. I can't hear you that well, but what happened? What happened? Oh, you, your, I heard we're you. in purple now. That's what happened. Oh, yeah. Alex, what? do you have Soka Toa written down? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me write it down. Let's write it down together. So, uh, have you learned this before, Alex? Yeah, I remember. Okay. What's cosine? Cosine is what? What's this letter A stand for? It's 
It cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Great. Do you know what adjacent means? Um, yeah. Okay, so what's the adjacent side to this theta right here? Is it four? No, homie, that's the opposite side. Oh, adjacent means next to. The 33. Square root 33. What's my hypotenuse? Seven. There you go. Okay, let's move on. Tangent. Thank you, Alex. Uh, let's go with Annika. What's my tangent? Uh, four over the square root of 33. Yep. Four over root 33. But Annika, we cannot have this root 33 in the denominator. So I accept that, but from here on out, we can't have that. So what you do is you do this. Because I have the square root of 33 in the denominator, what you do to get rid of it is you multiply by the same thing, square root of 33. And whatever you do with that, you also have to do the numerator by the square root of 33. Sorry, that's so small. And so your answer is going to be 4 times the square root of 33 is 4 times square root of 33 all over square root of 33 times square root of 33 is just 33. Annika. Got it. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Okay, cosecant. This is new stuff. Let's go with um, uh, Ariana. What's cosecant? Hi. Um, I got... 7 over root 33. Mm. How'd you get that? Um, because how I get that was that the that one is H over O. Cosecant is, yes, H. So theta, which one's the H? Uh, 7. 7. What's the opposite? Four. Four, there you go. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. So hey, look, Ariana, look, it's the it's this flipped. It's sine flip two. All right. Okay? okay. All right. Good job. Thanks. Okay, uh, let's go with uh, Brandon. What's uh, secant? Uh, 7 over square root of 33. Very good. However, remember, Brandon, we can't have the square root in the denominator. So we're going to multiply. Um, Annika, remember we multiplied by? Square root of 33. Square root of 33 over square root of 33. And it's 33 over 7 root 33. That's what you guys got to make sure you know that. Okay, but it is the op. It's this flipped, but we can't have the square root of thirty-three in the denominator. It's weird. Math people are weird. That's what they want. I have to enforce those rules. Okay, uh, let's see. Donnell, what's cotan? Uh, is it root thirty-three over four? One hundred percent correct. Very good. Root thirty-three over four. You just tangent flipped or it is adjacent over uh, over opposite and that's it that's how you get those are there any questions those of you who are paying attention to this i understand zoom fatigue i know we're not using zoom but you guys are zoom fatigued i'm sure we have vacation next week are there any questions all righty i'm gonna get rid of this in 10 seconds Okay, here we go. This is all review, except for the cosecant, secant, cotan. All right, here we go. Let's do example three. Okay, so now solving for a side. Okay, so you guys need a scientific calculator for this chapter. So get your scientific calculator out. Should I give you a chance to get a scientific calculator? Of course, you can use your... Um, Calculator on a computer, but it's a lot easier to have a scientific calculator on you. So if you need to go get one, go get one. Anyway, we want to solve this 
is we're solving for x. We have the angle here, 30 degrees, and we have 8 is our hypotenuse. Okay. Is that thing spinning? All right. All right, let's see. What's going on in the comments? I'm looking at the comments now. It looks like you're talking to me. Trinology. Kayla, um, maybe. We'll see what you think of the you're talking Kayla, you're talking about the um delta math. If we don't like it. Kayla, Kayla, can you hear me? Yeah. Is your question about, huh? Yes, that was what I was talking about. Okay, yeah, we'll see. We're going to talk about it on Friday. Uh, Joshua, I do like your haircut. It's very handsome. Thank you for doing it. Thank you. How's it feel? Pretty fresh. I'm great. <laughs> okay. Why'd you decide to cut it? Oh, the hair is just annoying. It gets in my face. So right now it is? No, not right now. Like when it was longer. Oh, no, oh, it was annoying before. I got it. I got it. Uh, Ariana, you don't. So you don't like the Delta math? I do not. But we're not using it right now. Yeah, but like just in general, because when we were using like the self practice, like the book, I'd be yeah. able to print it out, and I'd be in front of me, and then I just you know write down the question on my notebook, and then when it was time to turn it in, I just took pictures of it and turned it in, and it was already. Now we have to like keep going through like tabs when we do use it and sometimes you're explaining and we're on the other tab so we have to stop what we're doing and like go to no no don't don't look at the delta math right now don't look at it now just look at it when you do your homework don't look at the delta math just do it separate okay no, i know what she's saying sensei i don't know i, I kind of like i don't know i like having it um i don't know i like writing it on paper and all that. i don't know no, do you still write on paper? Well, okay, just give it two days. If you guys hate it that bad, we'll see. Remember, I am I am the king, though. Whatever I say goes. <laughs> I'm just joking, but I'll hear what you guys say. We'll do a survey on it. But we'll have an open discussion. Um, let's see. Jasmine, were you able to sign up? Bruh? Yeah, I got it. It okay. was my weapon. You're using your phone or something. You have weird stuff going on. Okay. Jose, if you um, hey, you need to take a break or something, Jose. That's fine. I'm just not really feeling well. Okay. Hey, man, if you need to take a break, let me know. Okay. Yes, three more days till vacation and anxiety. You guys, I'm telling you guys. I think you guys, you guys have it harder than me. You're. I'm sorry. I'm going off on a tangent. I know you guys want to get off, but I think you guys have it harder than me with this. Um, you have all the social media, and now you have this. You're socializing. You're locked in your houses. I don't know. You know what I think you should do? Go outside and go rub your face in dirt. Okay, just go outside, grab some dirt, just rub it all over your face, and then put it in your ears, and then just go fa, and then just run as fast as you can, as fast as you can. And don't hurt your back. You just give it one more day. You guys already complained about the Delta math. Whoa, someone just said Delta math rules. Oh, that's cool. Wow, who wrote that? I Man. Know, I, I just feel like we don't like it because, like, we just got used to Canvas. Like, that was new to us. We had to learn how to use it. Now we finally do understand how to use it. And like you're kind of throwing this new thing at us, and we're like, whoa, we barely learned how to use Canvas. You know? Okay. Well, er okay. That's Ariana, let's talk against it. I got it. Makes sense. Well, if you want to talk about it after class, we'll talk about it after class. But just give it two days, okay? Give it two days and we'll see. Okay. okay. Um Yeah, it's just like you're not it's the same amount of homework, it's just the same problem. Anyway, whatever. It's just, it's just instead of looking at it at 
one thing you just do it in the other and you don't have to, i thought it'd be easier because you don't have to take pictures of it you just do the answers you don't have to do the um you don't have to do the check your understanding i don't know i thought it'd be easier but hey i'm not here to make it harder for you guys we'll talk about it. give it two days and see what you think all right let's go sorry i spent too much time on that let's let's wrap it up here we go okay this you're gonna need your calculator here we go. So, um, hey, if most of you hate it, I have no problem going back. It'd be easier for me. I don't have to keep making these new things. I just do the things from the, anyway, whatever. But it's always good to try. Always good to try. Green eggs and ham. You know, Sam I am did not know he liked green eggs and ham until he tried it. All right, so here we go. Now, to solve for x, what am I going to use here? Sine, cosine, or tangent? Write it here. So, ka, toa. My angle measurements here, I have this side and this side. What do I use? Sine, cosine, or tangent? Let's go with, let's call on someone. What do you think? Sine, cosine, or tangent? Ethan, what do you think? Sine, cosine, or tangent? Hold on. Cosine? Yes, very good. We have the adjacent and the hypotenuse. Adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine. So you're going to write it out like this. You guys remember this from last year? Cosine of the angle measurement, 30 degrees, equals, remember it's adjacent, x over hypotenuse, 8. And just like any other algebra problem, we got to solve for x. Okay? So to solve for it, we just multiply by, right? How do I do? How do I get rid of that? How do I get x by itself? Um, Eric, what do I do to get x by itself? Um, multiply it by 8. Multiply it by 8. So it's 8 times the cosine of 30 degrees equals x. So then you just take your calculator. Make sure make sure that your calculator, if you can see, let me zoom it in. Make sure your calculator is in degrees. Okay, it's in degrees. If it's not, I can help you out with that. It has to be degrees. Okay, so to calculate this in, which you should have done last year, you just do 8 times the cosine of 30. 8 times cosine 30, boom. Then you hit enter. Some calculators you have to punch it in a little different. 6.93. So x equals 6.93. So this is 6.93. And that's all you got to do. Are there any questions? I'm going to get rid of this in 10 seconds then. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. I think that might – I think I just have one more to show you. Oh. Uh. Okay, so let me do one more, and then I'll let you guys go. So I feel like I've just been talking like stuff. I'm going to make this one up. Now, what if you're solving for an angle? So let's say we have this right triangle right here. Okay, we have this. We have, uh, let's say, angles theta. We don't know it. Let's say this is 9, and this is 12. Okay, there we go. Now we're solving for the angle. So we have our theta here. We have this side and this side. Okay, so what are we, first let's figure out what are we going to use? Sine, cosine, or tangent. So Katoa is right there. What do you think? It's right there. So we use sine, cosine, or tangent. Sine, cosine, or tangent. Here sine. we go. Yes, very good. We go sine. 
So because we have the opposite over hypotenuse, so you write it like this. Sine of theta is equal to opposite 9 over hypotenuse 12. Now, just like we're solving for x, we need to solve for theta. And we got to get rid of this sine. And the way we get rid of sine is we use what we call the arc sine. And on your calculator, we multiply it by, this is how you get rid of sine. You multiply it by its inverse, sine to the negative 1. And whatever you do on the left, you have to do on the right, sine to the negative 1. Theta goes over there. And so these are going to cancel out. Basically, it's going to be theta is equal to sine to the negative 1 times 9 over 12. Or if you're trying to solve for the angle, you use the sine to the negative 1, which is called the inverse sine, or it's also called sine to the negative 1 is called the arc sine. Arc sine. Okay. So anyway, how do you put that in your calculator? Let me put it so they're side by side. It's the inverse of 9 divided by 12. Inverse. So if you look here closely, let me zoom into my calculator again. If you look at the calculator, the inverse sine is above the sign button. It's right there, the inverse sign. So you have to hit the second then the sign, that'll give you the inverse sign. You got to use the second button to get those all these light blues here, the same colors as the second. You have to hit the second or shift or um, I don't know what else it's called. There's other, I think there's one more term. Inverse, second, inverse. Uh, did I say inverse? I don't know. Or shift. Okay. So hit second. So inverse sign, second, and then you hit sign. See, I got the little inverse sign. And then you do 9 divided by 12, 9 divided by 12, and then you hit equals 48.5, 48.59 degrees. So theta is equal to 48.95 degrees. And that's how you solve for the angle measurement. Okay, that's pretty much it. Are there any questions on this problem here? Any questions on it? Okay. Let me get rid of this in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now, don't... Let's see, where are you guys? Done presenting. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go, but before you go, remember, the reason why I'm doing the delta math is I really want to do, I want to do what's best, okay? So we'll see if it works better or not. What The thing about the delta math is when you do the problems, if you get it wrong, you could do it over and over again until you get it right, but if you get it wrong, it shows you the steps of how to do the problem. It breaks it down for you, okay? I thought it would be a plus. We'll try it for two days. We'll talk about it on Friday. Okay, see what you guys think. Don't stress out. I don't want to stress you guys out because of this delta math. If it totally stresses you out, we can go back. We'll see what the majority says. Um, if you want, you can try out the delta math. I will stay here with you while you try it out, or you can just go home or hang up. I guess you are home. So anyway... You can go if you want. If you want to stay and work on the Delta Math or talk about it, you may stay. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye. I don't know who's saying it. My things aren't showing. Okay. Bye, Isaac. Bye, Natalia. Bye, Morella. Bye, Jose. Bye, Natalia. Bye, Isaac. Bye, Annika. Bye, Ishii. Bye, Jasmine. Bye, Roberto. Bye, Ariana. Bye, John. Mr. Sanchez. Yes, Donnell. I, th I think you marked me absent in attendance. I think I did. Because you're. How come you're you've been late a lot, I think. Yeah. What time does class start? Uh, 12 20. Yeah, very good. Be here at 12 20. All right. All right. See you tomorrow. Later. All right. Let's see. I see Eric and Giovanna.
I don't know if Eric, are you here? Are you... Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, you have a question? I did, but I forgot. Okay. Uh, well, let me see if Giovanna has a question, if it comes back to you. Giovanna? I got kicked out, like, when you're talking, like, kind of in the middle or, like, 10 minutes ago. So I kind of missed about the whole thing about the calculator part. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering. I'll show you a couple. Okay, let's go over that. Let me go over. Let's do this. Unless, Eric, do you have your question real quick before I just show Giovanna or? No, I don't. I okay, well, I'll, you can stay oh. until. Well, hang on, I got to sneeze. I don't have to sneeze. Whoa, it went away. Wait. No. Ah! <laughs> there, I did it. Okay. Bless Eric, you. If you. Thank you. Eric, if you want to stay, you can, or you can go. It's up to you while, while we go over this, if your question comes up. Giovanna. Yeah. Okay, so for this one, you were given this triangle, and you were solving for this side right here, solving for X. Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. So we're, this is the adjacent side, and this is the op, the hypotenuse, right? Mm -hmm. So what do we use for that, adjacent and hypotenuse? Um, cosine? Cosine. So our angle is 30, so it said cosine 30 degrees okay. equals adjacent X over the hypotenuse eight. So you understand how I set that up in the purple here? Yeah. Okay, so we got to solve for X. That's why I multiplied by eight to cancel that out. So as the eight goes over here. Make okay. sense? Yeah. Okay, so now to solve for X, it's eight times the cosine of 30 degrees. And so I was showing them how to do it on the calculator. Do you have a calculator? No, but I think I could use Desmos. Yes, you can. Yeah. So you can go eight times cosine 30, and then you just hit enter, and you get 6.93, yeah. which is that right there. So that's one. And I can show you the other one. You see the other one? Yes, please. Okay. Let me see if Eric, Eric, are you still there? No, he left. Oh, he left. Okay. All right. So now this one, we're solving for the angle, Which not one? the side. You're not presenting. What? I'm I said, not? Yeah, you're not. Wait, that whole time? No, you were. You were in the beginning, but and then you stopped presenting. So you saw the first one? Yeah, I saw the first one. Okay, hang on. No. I'm going to blow my nose. Wait, just did, oh maybe did I stop? Oh, I think I hit the I think I hit the wrong thing. Okay. All right. I think I'm presenting now, right? Yeah, you are. Okay, so now we're solving for theta here. Oh, okay. So the angle. You gotta solve for the angle. Okay, so now you can see I have the I have the opposite side and the hypotenuse. Mm -hmm. Which means I'm going to use what? I mean, you can see it there on the side, but. Yeah. The, the sign. Sign. So we set it up like this. I'm going to write it here. I set it up. Sine of theta is equal to opposite 9 over the hypotenuse 12. Okay. Right? Yeah. Now. Just like we're solving for x, we want to solve for theta. So, so I want to get rid of sine. And the way I do that is there's this thing on the button in the calculator. It's called inverse sine. The opposite of sine is the inverse of sine. So you multiply it by the inverse of sine. It's going to make that go away. Oh, I've seen that before on my other calculator. Yeah, so you multiply this side by inverse sine too. So see how these cancel out? And so yeah. my theta is going to equal to the inverse of sine 9 over 12. 
Okay. Okay, you with me so far? Yeah. Okay, so now let's say if you look in your calculator, you can see here, see the sign button? Mm -hmm. And above it is the inverse sign. Now, whenever we want to use that, we have to use the second function or the shift function or the inverse. It, you know, most calculators have that. Yeah. So the way we're going to do is we're going to hit. Ooh, what, what's that song? Oh, it's uh, my grandma's phone. Oh, it's an interesting ringtone. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to like it. Yeah. Don't tell your grandma I didn't like it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So then we hit the second, and then we hit sign, and mm -hmm. see how the inverse sign goes up there? Yeah. So we want to do inverse sign, yeah, that's what I, I, I inverse sign 9 over 12. See that? Yes. Yeah. We're plugging this in. Inverse sign 9 divided by 12, and then we get 48.59 degrees. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Which is that? that yeah. The key is you use the inverse sign to solve for the angle. Oh, when you're okay. trying to solve for the angle, you use the inverse sign. Okay. Was that all the problems that you did? Yep, that was the last one. Okay. That was all you had to do? Was just like find the missing, the missing like uh, number or oh. the missing yes so, okay. and then also you have to find the ratio for a sine uh cosine tangent and then secant cosecant and co and cotangent for the one you just did or for the other ones no for the other ones that's oh. what i do for that one you're done yeah oh, okay thank you you're welcome Is that it yeah that was all okay i'll see you tomorrow hopefully that delta math thing will work out we'll see yeah <laughs> Does it yeah. seem stressed? Are you stressed out by that Delta math too? No, I actually think um, it'll be better because I don't like taking pictures of my work. Like I, I like because I have so I do I write big, so it's so many pages to yeah. take pictures of. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what everyone thinks. So we'll try it today and tomorrow. We'll ask, I'm curious to see what everyone thinks. So well, we'll see. You haven't done it yet, so maybe you'll you'll hate it. But <laughs> let's we'll check it out. All right, Jovanna, I'll let you go. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, see ya. Thank you again. All right, you're welcome. Okay, bye. Bye.